gentlemen. Uh, the wrestling Jesus is either trolling hardcore or he's a fucking retard, all right? He just made the dumbest fucking video imaginable. It's like 10 reasons why Daniel Bryan rules. And the reasons he gave are absolute jokes. He is either he's kidding or he thought like, oh, dude, 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 these are good reasons. No, these, these reasons are total shit. Did you put any effort into this list? We're going to counter every single one of them right here. Number one, phenomenal wrestler. Wait, I'll, I'll say it like him. First reason, Daniel Bryan is a phenomenal wrestler. He does kicks. What? Stand up, stand up. Yes! 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 Uh! Oh, wow! I did it! I'm Daniel Bryan! He's a I'm Daniel Bryan! He's a phenomenal wrestler! He should sign this guy! Give me a contract! You, you're better than Punk! You're better than AJ Styles! You're better than them all, dude! You're better than Flair! Yes! Whoa, I almost fell. <laughs> yes! This, that's all Daniel Bryan does. And he does a suicide dive. Whoa! Look at that, I did it. Fly and go, Michael! Fly and go! Alright, so Daniel Bryan's a fucking shit wrestler. Maybe he was good in Ring of Honor, but that shit doesn't matter. I want the here and now, and now he sucks. Two, good finisher. Good finisher? The Crippler crossface and a flying knee? <laughs> the flying knee can level big guys, small guys? No, the flying knee's stupid and it looks fake. He always misses. He always misses, and it's just, like, because he's not strong enough to do a real move, so they just gave him something, oh, just jump in the air. F5 is a cool finisher. Yeah, the stunner is a cool finisher. The flying knee and the cross face? Get that weak shit out of here. Great on the mic. Now, this is when I officially thought he's joking. <laughs> Daniel Bryan is just another John Cena getting cheap heat from the fans. Like, oh, who thinks I deserve another title shot? Say ah! yes! Ah! Say yes! Like, that's... What the, get that shit out of here, you know? Number four, huge reaction. And he's like, Oh, people say that he only gets a reaction because of the yes chant. That's like saying Ric Flair only got a reaction for the woo. No, let me explain something. Ric Flair came out, he'd get a pop. The fans wouldn't just start going, Woo! 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 They'd say woo when he did a chop or when he did woo. Daniel Bryan comes out, they immediately just start going yes. They don't give a shit about him. It's like, oh, oh we, we gotta say yes now. Because the yes man, they should just change his name Red to the... Red Flair had a character. Oh, well, that's coming. But they should just change his name to the yes man. Fucking A. Uh, here, where are we at? Number five. He's a real superstar and a proven main eventer. <laughs> <laughs> his main event, Matt, what was it? Hell in a Cell and the other he fucking He had like thing, five in the row. They were terrible. And those pay-per-view buy rates were like historically low. No one, he can't sell anything. He's fucking terrible. His matches are boring and forgettable. Proven star? Real wrestling? Where? Who outside of the wrestling industry knows who the hell Daniel Bryan is? Really? Yeah, you can walk down the street and show people a picture of Hogan and they'll know who it is. No one who knows who the fuck Daniel Bryan is. Let's go, who's that? Some weird Amish dude? Yeah, great. <laughs> Good entrance. That was, that's when I officially thought, alright, that's it. This isn't serious. Good entrance? He hopped. <laughs> Kane is a good entrance. Undertaker is a good entrance. It helps show what their character is. Daniel Bryan coming out hopping going, yes, isn't helping anything. Maybe if he came out and went, meh, that would help us get, oh, he's a flying goat. I get it. All right. That's it. Oh, my God. Seven. Multi-time world champ. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so is Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, he was a world champ. He lost it in 18 seconds to Sheamus at WrestleMania. And then he had about four reigns and kept getting screwed out of him. That's why he's a multi-time champ. Not because anyone really gives a shit about him or because he deserved it. But because, you know, stupid storylines led up to it. And they just took it off right after, so it doesn't fucking matter. Eight, unique look slash character. Okay, unique look. Uh, the Wyatt family, guys with beards. Mike Knox. Maybe, well, maybe he's beard. talking about the whole midget thing. That everyone <laughs> on the roster is now. Um, Ziggler, Punk, Cody, you know, how about every fucking guy on the, on the fucking roster? And character? Um, what is it? Wrestling Jesus. What is his character? Wrestling Jesus, what is his character? I like to watch flying goats on my wrestling show. 
I'm big into bestiality nowadays, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, fucking A. Nine. He worked hard to make it to the top. Now, make say your point, son. You know, maybe he did work hard to get to the top. You know, he came from Ring of Honor, he fought, he battled back, uh, he climbed, he worked his way up the card. Or, maybe, just maybe, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I am. Don't you think it's ironic that as soon as he starts to date, the Bella Twin, uh, which one is he with? I don't care, the one with the real boobs. The one with the real boobs, whose sister is dating Cena, so they could potentially be in the same family situation, that's that's when he starts getting pushed. You think maybe there was like some hot mm. four-way action going on, maybe? And maybe <laughs> Cena's cock found its way into Brian's mouth? Because Russ and Jesus said he didn't have to suck any cocks to get where he is. Hey, hey, we're not... We're not, not, not accusing But anybody. maybe, just may you know... Maybe it's one of those, I'll do anything to get a push situation. Maybe. And number 10, his fans are cool. A bunch of drooling yes men, literally. And like a bunch of four year olds. Yay! Yay! Do we say yes now? Oh, no, now we say no! That's cool. That's what a wrestling fan is, really? A wrestling fan is a guy who wears a t shirt with a 69 and says, suck it on it doing this. <laughs> not, not, not like a little two year old doing this. That's not a cool fan. So, Russ and Jesus, I hope you were kidding. I'm almost 100% positive that you were. But if you weren't, then fuck you. Basically. Till next time. Peace. We flipped off the camera this time. Fuck Cody Rhodes.